better understand it. Okay, so um, this morning, um, we're going to start off with the announcements for everyone, and then we're going to get into the stand up, you know, ask you what you're doing, okay, um, what you have done, if you have any major blockers, and yeah, all of that, okay? So um, the first thing here that I want you guys to just um, know is this, the non-technical assignment is due today, okay? It is due today, and um, if you feel like you have any um, issues with it or any problem, definitely feel free to reach out to me or to Arun, or let's just see if we could get another Q&A, okay? If that's um, okay, okay? Um, uh, secondly, yes, the non-technical assignment is due today, okay? But then remember that we are trying to enforce the lateness policy, not because we want you guys to not submit the best that you could possibly, but it is because we really want you guys to rest and focus and just have a nice and relaxing weekend, okay? And then you recharge for week eight. Okay, so remember that we are enforcing the lateness policy. So try to submit on time, try to submit according to the um, stipulated deadlines, okay? Now, um, definitely just try to relax on a Sunday, you know, do whatever you feel makes you happy, makes you relax. It could be different for everyone. Um, if you have not yet submitted your profile on the Google site, um, try to do so. Kindly try to do so right now, okay? If you're having any difficulty, okay, with publishing the Google site, your best bet is to just send out a message first in the All Week 7 channel, you know? Another trainee might have gone through that, that thing that you're experiencing right now. So they would be the first um, people who would be able to help you. Um, then afterwards, if it's still a problem, you let me know. But if it is anything specific about the the profile, definitely reach out to Arun, DM him, and um, he'll sort you out. Um, yeah, so as per the announcement that we made yesterday on Rocket Chat, Cindy is no with us. So for the cause of the training until the end, Arun is going to now act as the cohort manager. And of course, I'm here doing my usual, you know, working with you guys, trying to get an um, understanding of the community and bringing everyone together. Okay. So um, that's it. Definitely, I am going to... Sorry, Tatiana, I just wanted to jump in for a second there. Yeah. No, just, just to follow up the announcement uh, and to say that we thank Cindy for her contribution. Um, it was valuable both in terms of batch four and for the overall growth of the program. Mm -hmm. um, if we looked at where we were going in the future, there was a difference in the uh, approach to manage it. And so we decided to make, it's, it's rather uh, better to make a quick change. But I just wanted to say we thank her for her contribution uh, to batch four as well as to the overall um, growth of the initiative. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to Yababel or to me. But I just wanted to pass on that message of thanks. Okay, okay. Um, thank you for that. Okay, so we are going to get into the stand-up for today, okay? Now, the technical assignment is due on Saturday. The non-technical is due today, Friday, okay? So now, guys, I really want to understand as at today, Friday the 27th, okay, moving forward, what have you done, okay, about the assignment, you know, what you've been able to accomplish, what are you going to do today, okay, what aspects of the assignment you're going to do today, and do you have any blocker, anything, any challenge, or did you get any insight, okay? So um, who wants to start us off? Who wants to start the ball rolling this morning? Anyone? It doesn't have to be a very long discussion. You just have a minute or two. Just let us know what you have done so far, what you plan to do today, okay? So we know the cause of action that you want to take today. And if you have any blocker or anything that you feel is um, a bit too 
whatever, you definitely let us know. Okay, so who wants to start us off today? I really don't want to start the meeting selecting people. I wanted someone to volunteer. Um, okay, thank you, Steshi, for um, saving me. How are you this morning, Steshi? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so Steshi, um, what's up with you? What's up with the assignment? Okay, what have you done so far with your team? What are you guys going to do today? Do you have any major block or anything we need to know about? Uh, okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was working on the non-technical. It took a bit more time than I thought it would. So I think uh, with the group, you're going to continue today. Yesterday, I just had one meeting with one person to to go over a few a few of the concepts. And so today, I'll be I'll be resuming from task two of the non of the technical assignment. Okay, so any major block or anything? Uh, not really. I think so far okay. we, are, we are okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's that's good to know. Um, for the non-technical, um, you said you spent quite a lot of time on it, more than you were expecting. But are you good now? Are you feel yeah, you're comfortable. Good now. Yeah, I went through okay. the video. A couple of times and then yeah at least i've been able to answer the questions okay yeah okay um yeah so thank you so much um do we have any other person who wants to go after steshi okay um steshi can you please select the next person Oh uh, yeah, I'll pick my my peer mentor, Fumbani. Oh okay, okay, Fumbani. Good morning. Your peer mentor has just selected you to be this morning's stand up. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, and you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, what's good on your end? What are you working on today? with your assignment, what have you done so far? And do you have any major blocker? Anything we need to know about? All right, so uh, today, before the stand-up, I was working on the non-technical assignment. I think the only thing that I'm remaining with is to um, to get the video. I think I already have the script and the document. Uh, so I'll, after this, I will continue with my group to work on the technical assignment continue with the, especially the establishing the relationships for the casual graph so yeah okay so do you feel confident enough about your submission for the technical assignment tomorrow and the non-technical assignment today yeah for the non-technical assignment i'm confident but for the technical assignment i'm not really especially okay the why graph, not i think <laughs> I think I'll have to ask my group members, especially on that the casual graph. So I think, yeah. but for the rest of the assignment, it's okay. It's only the casual graph that's giving me like a hard time. Okay. Okay. Um, can you tell us one thing about yourself that we do not know? Just anything, any random thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, no pleasure. Know. If you can't think about it right now, you can type type it in the chat box. All right, I think I'll type it. <laughs> okay, okay, so, um, yeah. I just wanted to give a suggestion. I know that getting the perfect video is really hard uh, for the non-technical. We don't need a perfect video right now. If I were in your place, I would structure my answer, do a video that was good practice, but you're only going to perfect your video before your real interview because that's when the pressure is on. So don't worry about doing a perfect video for your two to three minute intro. Okay, um, as Arun has said, um, that's definitely um, a valid point. Right now, do not stress yourself, just 
do something, okay? And then you can work on it later. Um, Fumbani, can you select the next person for this morning's stand-up? Uh, the next person I will select is uh, Desmond Onam. Onam. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Desmond, good morning. Are you in a position to join us? Good morning, and how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What's good on your end? How are you? How's everything? I am fine. On okay. My end. Okay. Um, but I feel a little bit uh, overwhelmed uh, because okay. uh, I have been having examinations I'm doing from my end. Uh, but uh, I feel confident today that I will be working on. Um, the non-technical and submit it. Thereafter, I will finish on the part that I am left with on the technical. Okay. Um, so do you feel confident enough with all the deadlines? Do you feel confident enough that you can submit tomorrow for the technical assignment? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, apart from you feeling overwhelmed, okay, um, because of one or two other engagements that you have, um, do you have any major blocker with the assignment itself? No, I do not have any major blocker with the assignment. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's good to know. What about the non-technical? Are you good? Is everything okay with it? Yeah, everything is fine with it. But I think I will be able to submit a, a, a good video later. Or okay. A better one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Thank you, um, Desmond. Um, can you select the next person for this morning's stand up? Um, I will select uh, Michael Jaco. Oh, okay. Michael, good morning. Good morning. How are um, you? Yes, yeah. I'm doing by God's grace. Okay, okay, so um, the whole of yesterday I was unavailable. So today I plan to look at what I left up for the technical. For the technical, I was able to just do the feature extraction. I mean, the the important features. I'm yet to draw the graph, and then also um, take a look at the the inputs, and then try to tune some of the questions that I have for the non-technical and get it submitted. And then also meet with my group, set, my group members and see um, what we can do to find a solution to the problems we are facing as far as drawing the graph and all that is concerned. So that is it from my end. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Um, You mentioned that you were on a video yesterday um did you by any chance inform your group members that you would not be available yesterday yes i had i i i informed them and actually subsequently i was try, i was having um touch with them on rocket chat even though okay. i wasn't able to put in any technical effort okay 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 so that's that's good to know okay what about the non-technical assignment so for, I'm, I'm going to uh, tune my question and then get uh, the inputs and submit on time. Um, oh, I'm okay. hoping I'll be ready for uh, the deadline. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Um, let's You're get welcome. a person from you. Can you select the next person? Okay, Jerusalem. Good morning, Jerusalem. Are you able to join us this morning? Um, if not, you can type in the chat box. We really want to get a feel of what you're doing right now, okay? What you've already done, if you have any major blockers. So if you can't um, join here, then definitely just type in the chat box for us to get a sense of how you're feeling this morning, okay? Um, so um, any other person who wants to volunteer? Okay. Good morning, Elias. How are you? 
How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. How's everything on your end? Uh, I was working on the technical part yesterday. So I didn't progress that much on the non technical. So I've started today. So, like, I had a question on the technical assignment on task two. Okay. And on the third question, it says create a casual graph using increasing factors of the data. So, when we say increasing factor of the data, are we increasing the features or roles in the data? I, I didn't understand that part. So, uh, I think it's a great question. I think whichever you use, it can qualify as, as one. And if you can test even just two from feature and two from um, like rows, I think that would be also great. But the, the, the important part actually is just to know that when the data is, the number of data points are smaller, of course, the, the graph may not be stable. And when you increase, the graph will change. And that's to, to check that one. So once you established how the, you construct a graph, then you, you're able to test that kind of thing very easily. It's like, okay, what if like I use, especially if you are if you are not using um, an expert and construct your uh, structural model, then it kind of it depends on the data point, like the kind of the relationships depends on the data point, and that's then you'll be able to infer something that okay, the graph is stable after this number of data points or after you know this this amount of features. So. Whichever you use, it's fine. But as it is requested, was much more of the number of rows. So it's kind of not features. OK, thanks. OK, um, Elias. Um, so that has been answered for you by Yababo. Is there any other thing we need to know? Any update on what you're going to work on today? How is it going with your team members? OK, yeah, we are working. We have been working on the technical part yesterday, and we've been able to find resources that had helped us on progressing. So we are on track on completing the technical part. So the non-technical, I have started, so I think I'll finish it today. OK. Um, definitely, Elias, if you feel that um, you have found any resource that helped you, definitely you could share it on the All Resources channel, OK, so others could have a look at Okay. I've shared it already. Okay. Ah, super. Thank you so much. Um, Jerusalem, go ahead. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, everyone. I'm doing good. Okay. Uh, okay. And yesterday, I've been working with the Nantica Capart and also was reading, uh, also trying to find resources on the technical part. And yesterday, I'll try to finish the Nantica part and also. Uh, we also uh, continue working with the profiles and yeah, on the technical side, we'll review some. Okay, okay. Um, I will, um, I'm putting you on the spot, but I feel like probably you might need to just let trainees know about that they do not have to overthink, as you've already mentioned in the chat box. Yeah, I started it doing yesterday. So, I I missed the question. What are you are you are you putting a lot of time into it, Jerusalem? No, no. I started uh, doing my profile yesterday. Okay. So, I mean, there's a, I know we have to balance time just to take twenty seconds and to say the point is we want to get you thinking in this structured way and to practice in front of a camera, but you shouldn't be spending more than uh, probably ten to fifteen minutes in structuring it five minutes recording do okay. your first pass yeah we don't we don't you guys are not uh, going up for an oscar or for the yeah. Nobel Prize, so don't worry about having the perfect speech sure okay yeah okay thank you thank just to, just to say one of your colleagues and i won't say who is apparently tried uh 41 times and sent the beautiful package so you don't need to try 41 times I haven't tried uh, recording yet, so I was just focusing on the profile. No, I'm just, I'm just telling everyone else. Yeah. Sure. OK, OK. Thank you so much, Jerusalem. Um, do we have any other person who wants to um, 
ask a question about the technical assignment or probably you had an insight or what you're working on today. Any other person from the team? Okay, um, well, I would love to hear from Michael Tekle. Okay, hello. Good morning, yes. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yesterday we had a meeting with uh, my team members and uh, uh, we started working. We have already started working, but like uh, yes, uh, today, uh, yesterday I have worked on the graphs, uh, on plotting the graphs, and we have already divided taxes between each other and uh, we're working on that. But uh, today I'm going to work on the non technical assignment. Uh, I haven't like that much focused on it because I was focusing on technical assignments. Um, yeah, that's my plan for today. Okay, so Michael, there's a question. Um, sorry, okay. um, no, no, sorry. So, how confident are you that you guys are going to submit your assignment on time so that you can rest and relax and recharge on Sunday for week eight? How confident are you? Uh, I, I'm really confident. I'm really confident uh, because we are on track. Uh, yeah, we are almost like uh, we have already like understand what we have to do. So it's just a matter of time, and uh, we have already have the resources and what to use. So I think it's just a matter of time. But I think we are on track. We're going to finish it. Okay. Thank on you time. so much. Um, Okay. Uh, yeah, Babel, I don't know if you want to answer that question in the chat box or you would want to like answer it out here right now. I think it's there's no answer to it other than just testing it. Okay. So okay. it's basically that's the whole point. Is it changing or not? And then you will report your finding. Stable or if it's not stable, usually it means the number of data points is not enough. Um, as so as you increase the number of data points, so you kind of start, I'd say, fifty percent, seventy, you know, something like seventy percent, ninety percent, and then if it's not stable, then you say like, okay, the data points are not sufficient enough. It seems that still we need to collect more data, but that doesn't exclude from using the, the graph. It's just that says. Okay, for some reason, our estimator of the relationship seems to change as we change the number of data points. And it's only just to get that that understanding. So yeah, definitely there are tricks and techniques, but that's not the point in how, you know, that's where like assumptions about the data, whatever comes in to make it more stable. And usually that means by constraining some things. If you know that there is there should be some relationships, then you constrain on that, that 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 relationship should exist or should not exist, and and then kind of you form it. So brute force methods usually they do they apply that, but yeah, that's as I would say, it isn't. It's kind of experiments like that you have to do, and report what you find. Okay, thank you so much for that. Okay, so um, any other person who wants to volunteer? I think we have time for. Probably two more people or three, and then I'm going to make the announcement again, and we're going to move on to our AMA session. If we don't have any volunteers, then I am going to have to go with um, Dorothy. Okay, so um, Christian, after Dorothy goes, then you'll be the next person, okay? Dorothy, come on. Um. Morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, hello, so, Dorothy. I can hear you. How are you? I, I'm doing well. Um, yesterday, I was working on the non technical uh, segment and I spent um, the better part of the day working on it. Then in the evening, I started working on task two of the technical assignment. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be submitting my non-technical assignment today. 
Okay. Okay. So for the technical assignment, how confident are you that you'll be able to submit on Saturday? Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'm confident that I'll submit it on time tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Jenna. I just wanted to ask the same question in a different way. Actually, everyone should be able. To, everyone must submit on Saturday. I think the question is, how confident are you that you will, or to what extent do you feel like you have solved or understood everything? But it's okay to submit something that isn't ready. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. I'd say I'll be about. Uh, Seventy percent confident, but um, what I'll submit will be correct. Okay, okay. Thank you, um, Dorothy, um, Christian. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes. Uh, I have one question for you, so you have a. I would like to, to ask you that uh, once I make my my goza grab and get some relation with all of the features I, I I gain by using random forest selection. Um, I would like to ask you if I I print out all of the relationship, the next step is to, to make a, a maybe a regression for all those relation and maybe use AC or BEC to to compile them and see which one is the best, right? Uh, what do you suppose to do? Please. If you do that, you are doing great. That means you are rewriting even some package yourself, which is great. That means it's the hardest way to go. But there are already packages that are shared that can do for you. So as long as you just give them the variable and you know you constrain them, they will construct all that kind of um, backdoor and all other tests that needs to be done. You know to just make sure that the graph is consistent with the data. So I think doing it by hand will be quite a tedious part. I mean, in a way that you have to understand each the detail of causal inference and probably one week might not be enough but that there are codes i mean the one for example is causal next or uh, do why um, those two package for example they could easily you could easily use them okay. just yeah to construct and to refute basically okay thank you thank you so much Thank you so much, Yarabel, for that answer. Um, do we have any other person who has any um, burning question? Because we're at the end of the of this morning stand-up. If we do not have any question, but during the course of the day, do you, <laughs> the roosters, I, I don't know where, where the rooster, I don't know where he is. Um, but during the course of the day, if you have any question, please just type it in the audience. Seven channel, the technical assignments, the non-technical assignments. Um, definitely, even if it's with a profile, just send it there. You never know who might be able to help you. Okay. Um, remember that on Saturday you're supposed to submit the technical assignment. Today, Friday, the non-technical. So you have to submit on time because we are enforcing the late policy. Um, if you submit it after a certain period of time, it really doesn't count for much. So you don't want to put all of that effort and then don't get what you think you've worked for. Okay? Um, rest and relax as much as possible on Sunday. I'm excited and prepared for week eight. Okay? Um, definitely try to work on submitting your profiles if you haven't submitted them, okay? And um, for our AMA session this morning, we are going to have Ms. Dan. So definitely um, try to be a part of it. Um, Arun, have I missed anything or is there anything you want to add? 
okay. A thumbs up. Okay. Anyway, um, so that's it for this morning's stand up. So we're going to go to the AMA session. So yeah, let's see. If we, okay, I'm going to stop recording now. Mm -hmm.